Today we're gonna to be doing a target feeding. And this one in particular today. What is happening A1A fam? Today I'm gonna to show you how I feed my coral. So sit back, because I'm sure you clicked on this video because you need to learn something. Study it, because you're gonna. So if this is your first time seeing this coral tank, and even if it's not, may want to check out our other videos of building this tank, stocking this tank, and this one in particular today. Now I'm gonna move this little guy, actually put him down here on the sand bed this morning. I know it likes it all the way up here, as this is where it's been the entire time we've had it now for approximately three months. Actually, I think almost four now. It's just hard to balance it up there. Beautiful. Now, most of these corals are actually retracting and on their way to go to sleep right now. So our light is programmed to dim at this time. So if you tune in, make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel because there's gonna be many more in addition to already created videos on this coral tank and how it came about. Future videos, I'll also be explaining the full feeding remedy and other fun coral facts. First thing I'm gonna do, because today we're gonna to be doing a target feeding. We're not gonna be doing just a messy, dump everything in this tank kind of feeding. We're not just gonna just douse the whole tank. We're gonna be doing a target feeding, which entails and basically explaining what it does is feeding each and every coral by themselves and targeting that specific coral rather than the whole entire tank as a whole. Of course, in efforts to execute that method precisely, we're gonna have to pull the plug on you. Yes, I literally mean pulling plugs. Now what this is gonna allow you to do is more than the obvious reason of avoiding current pushing all of your food that you're about to feed these little gems around all over the tank. Water is now stagnant and you will be able to target feed all of your corals effectively. That's why you clicked on this video. And now that I got your attention, you're gonna need this. So check your cabinet, check your mom's cabinet, someone's cabinet, cause you're gonna need this. And yours might be a little cleaner than mine cause they do harbor salt residue when they're not harboring turkey juice, because this is a turkey baster. So if you ain't got one, this is what you're missing, get one. Because in this video, you are going to need a hole big enough to feed these beautiful corals. Yeah, but no, in all seriousness, it needs to be a sufficient sized hole. <laughs> we got the Duncan, we got the Gonopora, we got the candy cane, the crypto candy cane, we got the GSPs, we got some beautiful colored zoanthids back there. We got mushrooms, more baby mushrooms. Yes, that is a pink pencil urchin right to the right of that baby mushroom. Recordia mushrooms, Xenia coral, Kenyan tree corals, hammer corals, palezoas, and other zoanthids. And more to come, so stay tuned. With only minutes to execute this feeding in this video, until these lights shut off on their own is crucial for me to start, so let's go. So today, I'm gonna to make a little concoction, which is my personal medley, that I feed these corals. A little bit of phytoplankton, a little bit of raw, refrigerated, live phytoplankton. Whew. Top it off that these carnivorous corals love. It's gonna be a little dash, if I could get a little bit of dash off, of this little crustacean medley that I make myself. And we're just gonna add right into there. We're gonna let this thaw out for a couple minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and feed all of the corals in that tank and you're gonna watch it. So stay tuned, stay hungry. Cause if you're watching this, I know you're hungry. Mmm, I just spilled a little, bet you could smell it. Ah, goodness, I could smell it with my nosy, I'm so nosy. Here, let's go ahead, put this up here. Speaking of nosy, all right, let's add a little bit of water to here because I nosy that this is gonna add more to our solution. I'm gonna stir this little soup up a little bit. Oh boy, doesn't that look yummy. It's like health food. Doesn't always look the most appealing, but it's an acquired taste. Coral health food. So first thing with grabbing your turkey baster, obviously you squeeze the sucker. You gotta squeeze it. You gotta withdraw all the goodies from the main, right? All right, so with that, after you have it, it's gonna, it's obviously gonna drip a little bit. So as it drips, cause the hole's so big, we basically have to move fast. So to show you what I do is I'm gonna suck this up. Then I'm gonna move quickly over to the water where we could suck a little bit of that water up. And also it'll create a little more of a dilution to this solution we have going on. Dilution to the solution, get with it. So, Tilt it back, squeeze, move over to the water and let go. So let's move 
everything over to here and you're gonna notice as everything slowly falls out, corals will slowly enjoy and thank you for it. So as everything makes its way to the bottom, it's gonna slowly come out. Now some things can bounce around of course because as you squeeze the end of this and the food starts to slowly come out, it's obviously gonna create a new kind of current in this water. So you're gonna want your corals to, I mean, they do have the ability to actually grab onto their food. The food will stick to the corals. So it's not really, there we go, there's a good chunk. Ooh, that, can I move it over enough? Can I move that over enough? No, it fell down. That's okay though, that's okay. That little snail, that's a serious snail right there. It's gonna get it. It's gonna get it, boy, because it's a snail. So now that I got a big old chunk at the end of this. So now let's go ahead and go down by the Duncan. The Duncan's not open as much as I want it to be, but it's basically just gonna fall a couple little pieces on there. It's still gonna eat it, don't worry. This mushroom right here, boom. Get ready for a buffet, you mushroom. There you go. Look at that, all these corals right now are going to start closing up. However, the Masalaya coral is not gonna close up. That's actually gonna remain open. So before I run out of time, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a time lapse for you guys so you guys can see these corals eat and close up and do the wild things that corals do. So sit back and enjoy this time lapse and I hope this light will not turn off. Wow, that coral, I don't even need the time lapse. Look, I just took the time lapse off to show you guys how quick that mushroom coral gobbled up my medley of food. Now, how amazing is that? And that was actually really fast. This is obviously not in the time lapse right now. And that snail right there is probably going to get that stray piece of crustacean as it looks really delicious for it to just gobble up right now, right? But as you can see, and as I was talking, this mushroom coral closed up right before your eyes. It does not take that long for a successful tank feeding to take place as long as all the corals are healthy and all the water parameters are up to par and all your corals are happy. Make sure your corals are happy is key. And now I'm gonna go ahead and direct my attention to the Masalaya coral, the featured coral in this video, and put that on time-lapse because I know that will be way more rewarding. Sorry, you guys, I had to stop that time lapse because I want to show you something. Right there in the middle, in that hole, right in the middle of the screen, come out one more time. There it is. It was that hole in the middle of the screen. That hole right there has an animal living in it that came in as a hitchhiker. And that, my friends, we also have a full video on it when I actually discovered it for the first time. But that, living in that tiny little hole, is a baby mantis shrimp. Baby mantis shrimp. Okay, so as this Masalaya coral is still commencing and stuffing its face, before our time runs out, I do want to share feeding another one of these mouths. And this one you're going to appreciate, I know it, because this one's fast, just like the mushroom. I mean, that mushroom's still sitting there devouring that whole array of food that I provided for it, as well as my proud Duncans they have devoured. Kenyan tree looking like the blob that it is when it goes to sleep. I call these my little Willy Wonka clan. Why do I call them Willy Wonka? I don't know, they just remind me about something about Willy Wonka. I think it's the color scheme. So when this food goes in, don't blink, you're gonna miss it. Bloop. Done, like a Venus flytrap devours that food. These suckers are so beasty. I mean, I feel like that's probably where, in the beginning, if you've seen when we set this up, we had a shrimp in here. The shrimp that was cleaning my hands, and I think that's where the shrimp went, honestly, because these suckers are devouring food on a daily when I feed them. I don't feed daily. Look at that. Ready? Whoop. Closing up. 
They love their food. These things are wild. I absolutely love them. Let's go ahead, go back here by these other polyps. Eat, Zoas, eat. Eat, Zoas, eat. That one probably is gonna take another extra second or two to close up, but they love their food. I mean, insane. Chunk of monk is even coral. My little sea cucumbers back there, ready to sprout. They're already getting roots. So I'm gonna see if I can angle this just right and be able to feed this one up in the back. Can we focus? All right, let's feed this sucker. All right, that one didn't get as much as I wanted inside of that polyp, but it still did close up. Unfortunately, at this hour, everything else seems to have closed up shop. So as earlier was happy hour, now everything is closed. Closed up and eating. So I suggest you do the same. But before you go and grab some grub, make sure your notification bell is turned on, because that will alert you when we do more feedings and upgrade this coral tank, even more than we already have. You little hitchhikers, stay away. Well, I mean hermit crabs. You guys are well fed enough, or if you just live in a shell. Thank you so much for watching this video on feeding our Masalaya coral. It's a lovely, beautiful coral gift indigenous to Australia. Stay tuned for many other coral feedings, also, keep in mind, we'll be doing some more videos on that mantis shrimp we have living in that little hole. Speaking of which, he's out right in the middle, right there, right in the middle, in the middle, Mr. Mantis Shrimp. Oh, it's going to go back in that hole. Are you kidding me? Hey there, little guy. You little mantis shrimp, what are you up to? I feel like you're up to no good. What are you up to? Go mind your business. Get out of here. Go back in your little hole, you mantis. Okay, now the lights are out, but I just wanted to show you it is almost done with its meal. Masalea, Masalaya, Mosaloa, Masalia, and a content belly indeed.